fun. Hands-on. Problem solving. Flexibility. Technology-based. Critical thinking. Adaptability. Applications. Great experience. The major of industrial technology in the Department of Agriculture and Biosystems Engineering at Iowa State University can help you make a difference. With the option areas of manufacturing as well as occupational safety, you are sure to develop technical, supervisory, and management skills as well as theoretical and hands-on technology skills via classroom and laboratory experiences. Steve Michelson, I'm the Chair of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. A typical student coming into industrial technology uh, tends to be somewhat interested in engineering, but they tend not to want to focus so much on the analysis and the design. They want to focus more on the application, the management. They're very much a hands-on learner, so they like to learn the theory, uh, but they want to see how it's going to be applied in real life. My name is Joseph Fanstrom. I graduated with my bachelor's degree in industrial technology. I started my master's degree right away and uh, I'll be finishing that up this fall. Uh, industrial technology is one of those degrees where it allows you to get a more of a practical knowledge, more of a understanding of multiple areas of a business. You should choose iTech because with a department small enough for you to have personal attention from faculty while still large enough to choose from a wide variety of educational opportunities, you are sure to have the competitive advantage. My name is Georgia Green. I am a senior in industrial technology occupational safety. I met with some of the advisors over here and realized that um, I, the program here was a lot more technology based and hands on and that's what I was going for. Uh, what drew me to Iowa State was football. While I was on Iowa State's football team, there was a couple of teammates that were in the industrial technology program and through talking to them after I had heard about the program, I realized that they were enjoying their degrees a lot more than I was enjoying my degree. So I decided to take a look at the industrial technology and I really hit it off with the teachers. People here were very nice, very, very friendly. Um, the first people I met were definitely the advisors and the staff here and they were all very welcoming. They told me a lot about the program and that was really great. And the students in the program just come from all over the place and it was really nice meeting them. They're welcoming, accepting, and it really adds a lot to the classroom. This department was great at being able to answer any of those questions that I had, whether it be from somebody or if they had, didn't have the answer, they were able to direct me to the people that could help. Our classes and labs provide hands-on interactive learning. In our second to none labs, you will use the same equipment used in industry. My name is Sam Hurst and I'm the quality assurance manager at Craig Tool Company. My favorite part of a lot of the classes there in the iTech building was that I was able to utilize a lot of lab time being able to work more one-on-one -on -one with our professors and then them actually bringing in uh, companies in the area, uh, working with them, doing, uh, I got to do a lot of group work uh, at actual businesses that I think really gave um, me a leg up as far as making the transition from college to the working world. The hammer mill chops. My name's Jeff Fleener, I'm president of Fleener Manufacturing. We like people that have a broad background they're exposed to many different uh, manufacturing processes, safety and, and welding and machining and, and CNC controls. We tend to see a, a much more mature student coming out of Iowa State University than a lot of the other uh, programs that we see. When I went out for my job interview, that was the number one thing that they said. They looked at my resume and they said, I see you know lean, you know how to do total quality, you're basically exactly what we're looking for. Starting off from our freshman year classes, we go right into learning the, the different competencies on like what schools are going to be looking for and what the industry is going to be looking for. When you go out into the, the world, you're ready and you're, you feel comfortable doing exactly what they're going to ask you in industry because you've already done it in the classroom. When you get up to the junior and senior years, there's a lot of areas of specialization that students can go into. We have a very strong professional club kind of a society here, so we have students that are you know, focus on the professional society for safety or for manufacturing. And the student clubs are a great place for students to build those relationships with students that have common interests. And it's going to match, you know, the ultimate goal as far as what they would like to do uh, once they graduate. We have a master's and PhD program for industrial technology. So if a student would like to go on for a master's, they can do that here. There are also many other universities across the U.S. that have those programs. 
Uh, we probably produce more PhDs um, for industrial technology than any other school across the country. And many are leaders not only here in the United States but also um, abroad. Um, a lot of schools around here and even in the whole United States recognize that this program has uh, got a strong base. We learn all the different things that you need to know from the sciences and the maths so that we're a well-rounded student when it comes on to going to graduate school. And from the programs that I've spoken with, they're very impressed by my undergraduate coursework and they feel that I will really be ready to continue on into their programs just based off of what I've learned at Iowa State. The Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering awards over $85,000 in scholarships to undergraduate students each year. Our technology students, when compared with students from other universities, remain in high demand. This is reflected by the competitive salaries they receive, the highest in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, and comparable to many engineering graduates. So the opportunities are phenomenal for technology students. Our students go out getting paid very high salaries, typically somewhere between fifty and sixty thousand dollars a year, which I think at this point is, is like the highest average salary in the College of Ag and Life Sciences. We are always told about jobs on a weekly basis. Um, our advisors and the staff here are really good at communicating to us the different jobs and you know they're not just located in Iowa, they're all across the United States and even um, internationally. Finding a job wasn't hard for me when I graduated from iTech. I actually had uh, two or three job offers coming out of the gates. I still receive calls almost monthly for uh, companies in the, in the central and eastern Iowa area. Within the iTech program, we teach advanced manufacturing processes, such as additive manufacturing, where three-dimensional printers can read computer-aided drafting files directly and convert these images into real parts with complex shapes not otherwise possible to make. These techniques are the future for manufacturing. Industrial technology, emerging ideas for a changing world.